Time to shoot an animal. Shoot or hungry? Let's go. Oh! 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 Wow! Wow! Okay, yes. so you can be a hunter. I can't go hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so guys we'll stop over here to get something oh so they're gathering irish, irish potatoes yes oh amazing wow <coughs> as you see now this irish potato plantation you can see people they are seriously harvesting yeah from so, here we are proceeding to pygmies mm. they already speak in africa yeah. yes but this thing is it is it individually owned or government owned this farm uh, you know yeah no this, no this one's for the government oh okay but uh, like in the dry season people they come in and hire and they plant in. oh okay yeah. hire from government yeah this is, is, is this swamp is for the government oh okay. it's a government swamp oh wow yeah it's not sure. Wow, guys. So they got small restaurants. I'm going to ask you. Personally, personally, they were the first people to reach here. They were coming from Cameroon. Okay. Then they passed DRC from DRC to Rwanda, from Rwanda to here. And by then, Uganda was the entire, especially the western area, this part, mm. the western part of Uganda, it wasn't, it was not occupied by anyone. Mm. So the people reached here, the and you know they are the people, they depend on fruits and uh, hunting, something like that. Oh, like, because mm. for them, they don't dig, they, they don't, don't do something, they, they, they have just the started. But when they were coming this okay. side, okay. they used to stay in the forest because they were depending on fruits and uh, animals through hunting. Oh. So now other tribes also followed from Cameroon. For example, there is the Wahima, the Wanyankole, mm. but the Wahima they were coming from Somalia, from Somalia to Rwanda, from Rwanda to here. So they found the Watkwa here in Kigezi region. Mm. Now the Wahitwa the, 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 the Wahima had animals. These animals, these cows with longer uh, long horns. horns yes. uh, so now they started now clearing the bushes. Okay. So the Watkwa they were not uh, comfortable with the Wahima, so they were to extend it to oh, where the forest were. Wow. Okay. So now the Wachig also came in and they started now digging, digging. those forests. So the Watkwa continued, they had to, continue they had to, to go. Inside. So if someone asks you that why the Watkwa are staying in the forest, yeah, and yeah. maybe the Wachiga are staying this side yeah. and the Wahima are staying the other side, the reason is the Watkwa they depend on fruits and animals. That's where that's why they, for them, they are always, they, they always go where there are forests. Actually, I think where there are no forests, but are not, they can't stay there. They can't stay there. So they are used to the environment and of the, the forest. For environment of forest. Wow. So that's why they are on the other side. So they can stay with the gorillas. Are they scared uh, of the gorillas? I think, but, I, <laughs> but now, of course, they have, they have tried to, to, to extend. To, to, extend in mm. kind of modernization okay. because of intermarriages and all that. Okay. But those days, you could not find a mutko actually relating to some other people, other tribes. Mm. But now they are coping up. Actually, we have got some more now educated. Oh, at bachelor's okay. level. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. So that's interesting. Oh, but okay. I know some Kagu do about them. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. The government is trying to encourage the intermarriages. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Intermarriage so that they can connect with some other, other tribes so okay. that they can also develop have that such kind of knowledge something like that but wow. of course they are still rich down there yeah yeah, yeah all yeah, of yeah. that yeah. Well, but you have got some more educated at bachelor's level yeah oh, yes nice. you have some wow mm. but they are it's the only indigenous tribe here in the country they are the first people to reach here from cameroon mm. oh 
Yes, they are originally Mad from though. Cameroon. <laughs> wow. Uh, that, that's so good. Uh, Thank you so much. Let, let's thank continue. You. Thank Cause. you so much. Yeah. Yeah, we are on Tamaka Road, but you see in the front uh, where we are about to reach, it is uh, still a Malam Road, mm. meaning that uh, you see this valley here, they told yeah. us uh, it's connected to Lake Bonyoni. It's on level of Lake Bonyoni. Oh, so okay. it's normally sink down again. Okay. On top of the mountain there, I think you see the forest. Yeah. Wow. Why is it called impenetrable? Uh, you know, uh, it is called the impenetrable because you can't pass through. Oh. Like when you try to walk in it, yes. you can't pass through. Oh, can't it go. is impenetrable. Oh, yeah, nice. you can't pass through. So that's where the name came from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Unless you get a, maybe a panga, you go while clearing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a thick forest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's where the gorilla lives. Oh, yes. Nice. Is there a lion inside? No lions. <laughs> just I normally see a uh, white and black colbus monkey. Oh, okay. And as well baboons. Okay. And gorillas? And gorillas and elephants. Oh. Yeah. Elephants? Yes. Wow. I've never seen a lion. Nibindi oh, impenetrable. Obushorabuto means a soft porridge. That one, uh, uh, sort of, it's been like one day. One like they prepare it uh, and spends one night. That's a soft. It went still for soft be, before it becomes sour. Oh, okay. Yes. So that, we have to test it. Yeah, it's called the Obusharabutoka, oh, okay. the soft one. Okay. I just love the landscapes. Yeah, I prefer to live in this place. You know, you, you, you know, here, Kenneth, what you don't know, here you don't have to be scared of anything. Here we have friendly snakes. We have friendly mosquitoes. <laughs> when you're in Kawaare, don't expect to get malaria from me. I'm telling you. Friendly How mosquitoes. Be friendly? I'm telling you. No, no, we nice. have friendly I, I mosquitoes. Like That's crazy. I don't want to say snake. Well, I'm going to say snake. Where are we going to? Are we going to say snake? Where are we going to? Huh? Uh, no, I mean no. No, no but no. like here we have these small, small green snakes. Right. The moment they saw you, like this, they have to run away. Wow. Yeah, I don't like snakes. As a... I can't be near a snake. However much it is friendly, I can't be near a snake. <laughs> <laughs> no. He says a friendly snake. Uh, okay. I hate it like cross. Wow, guys, look, look at this view. Look at this view. Mado. So this is Uganda. This is, yes. not, this is not Uganda. This is South Sudan. This is Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> but Uganda is beautiful. There should be uh, more uh, around here. Here, yeah, nearby. Nearby here we have uh, two mines. We have iron ore, okay. which is called the Obutare. Okay. We have Wolfram, as you see the post here. Mm. Yeah. Casely Aramin Rose Limited. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eight kilometers away. Yes, this is the Wolfram mm -hmm. up here. Oh, oh okay. like where the mining takes place. Yes, huh? yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey. Wow. <laughs> they should, okay, they should be more houses. Like, wow, wow, wow. Like, like, like ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a kind of more buildings here because I, I know tourists would like would love to stay in this kind of place, yeah, like even that, like Kampala. The there should be more houses. What do you think about More resorts, that? more hotels. There should be more resorts for tourists. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because uh, as I told you here in Ikabare, we have our own weather. Yes. Yeah, you see, even if you are, when you're in the cover, even if it is dry, dry season, we have uh, much coldness here. So you enjoy coldness in cover. Well, okay, so, so yeah. why don't you uh, try to talk to the to your fellow workmates mm. and you see if you can get like accommodations for tourists. Yeah. If you can be getting money, by the way. Yeah. Of course, uh, it is in a plan. Uh, we are still we are still planning, mm. but uh, it's already in the program. We are planning and it's already in the program. Mm. To put some more campsites within around here, more campsites within around in the place of pygmies, mm. and within around Lake Bunyonyi. Yeah, yeah. Because the pygmies are so friendly. Like, 
Yeah. Maybe like that friend, you can stay with them for even a week, like days, months. Yeah, for and sure. You're good, you're good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Okay. okay, is that true? That they're very friendly. Very friendly. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Well, if you want to get a land here, yeah. you see, can foreigners buy a land around here? Yes, yes, yes. yes they yes, can. Yes, yes, they can. Like, what, what, what's the price of a land here, a plot? Uh, when you come with uh, your 50 million, you can get a good plot here with a good view. With 50 million? Yeah. 15 or 50? 50. Wait, with the shillings? Yeah, with a good view. Oh, wow. Yeah. Our driver. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tour guide, a driver, everything. Huh? That's nice. Uh, I see your shirt. It says in the Mist. That, that's the name of your, your guard, your tour company. Uh, yes, Muzungu in the Mist. I have another one, Muzungu in the Dust. What is oh. Muzungu in Mist? What does it mean? A stranger in the Mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, oh, a stranger in the Mist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Jesus. Right there. Yeah, 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 guys. Okay, Make sure you subscribe. This is the outlet of Lake Bonyo. This is Lake Bonyo. Where we are heading on the top, there will be able to see the panorama oh, of Lake Bonyo. Makes sense. Yeah, here we are at the outlet. Okay. We just stopped by here at Lake Bonyo. 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 It means small birds. Oh wow, yes. so we just stop here to show you guys how Lake Bunyonyi looks like before we proceed to the pig mix. Like I told you guys, it's going to be part 3. It will be part 1, part 2, part 3. This is the part 1, so make sure you watch it and watch the next one and the next one. And make sure you subscribe to my friend's channel over here. Yeah. How big is it? Uh, Lake Bunyonyi? Yeah. Uh, uh, when we go to the panorama of Lake Bunyonyi, yeah. we will be able to see how big it is. And you'll be able to imagine how Lake Bunyonyi, how it is yeah. very well. Okay. Yeah. So this Lake Bunyonyi, it has 29 islands. 29? Yeah, it has 29 islands. Small, 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 small like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So this is the, the, this is the outlet of Lake Bunyonyi. It has so many inlets. Yeah, it has only one outlet, this one. Yeah, you know in East Africa, this is one of the safest lakes. Safest? Yes, yeah, in South Africa. Yeah, the, the deepest band and the safest lake in East Africa. Because this water, you see, it's very clean. You can even drink it without straining it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But what makes it safe? What makes uh, it safe? No hippos, no crocodiles, no snails. So it is free. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm saying it is safe. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Only that is very deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. So guys, let's continue to the big mix. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Let's continue to the big mix, you right? Yeah, straight, straight to the pygmies. Pygmies okay. community. Okay. Yeah. There's also yeah. people here yeah, taking some water. Right there. So guys, let's continue to the big mix and uh, keep watching. Let me show you some views. Where's this place? Uh, we okay, this is the lake over here. Yeah, that's Lake Benyoni. Wow. That's uh, the outreach where we are coming from. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, Axel yeah. Road it connects. Yeah. We know Axel Road it passes slow. The outlet of Lake Bunyan. It crosses the outlet of Lake Bunyan. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. I would love to live here, please. <laughs> so, right now we are in Nimoko. In Nimoko? Yeah, we are in Nimoko. Mm. As you see, the place how is beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are in Imuko in Rwanda district. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been talking about this. I think this is Wow, guys, look at this. We are surrounded by mountains. We are still going up. <laughs> uh, like when you are connecting uh, now, uh, the pygmies, mm. you see, we started the, our trip in Kawale. Yeah. We are in Rwanda now. Then we are proceeding to Xoro where we will be able to see the pygmies. We will be in 
one party in Kisoro, another party in Rwanda. Okay. Yeah, we are, we will be in a Chuya forest. So the pygmy stay in between Kisoro. Yeah, Kisoro and, and, and Rwanda, Rwanda district oh. in a Chuya forest. Oh wow, that's yeah. amazing. Chuya. A Chuya forest. Central Forest Reserve. Okay. Wow. We are going to have a short briefing. Okay. okay. And uh, our briefing Hello. takes the five, nice to five. <laughs> So guys, welcome to the tribe, the pygmy tribe. Like I told you guys, it's going to be a very adventurous series. Look at this. This is for the hiking. And uh, you can see over here, we are surrounded by the, the wonderful people of this place. And uh, this is our tour guard. His name is God. And uh, we can see more people are coming in. We're going to hike. This is a tree of forest. Okay, a tree of forest. This is a tree of forest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Yeah. Wow. This is the shortest people in the world. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Nice. How are you? What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> wow. How are you? What's your name? Oh, nice. Uh, no, uh, they are escorting us. We have the, the, the press. We are. Then after we come in the sun, we're going to have the that with you. After that, we make the fire. And with the battle, we we'll make the fire when they are living in the forest. Okay. From that, we are going to show you shooting target. You will oh. participate. Everyone can participate. Okay. So, so that after that, we shall go to. We shall be having hiking. For hiking, we shall see the battle community house rugby. Then from that we can have also Lake Bunyonyi view. Lake Bunyonyi view. Lake Bunyonyi. Oh, that's Once even visit our their homes. And even uh, their homestays. Oh, homes. okay. Yeah. Where they are living after the eviction. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's oh. what you are going to have. Oh, oh, I can't wait. You say after the eviction? <laughs> yes. Was they evicted? Yeah, they were removed from the forest. Ooh, okay. Yeah, in, 19, in 1990s. 1990s? Yes. Then from that, they come straight around. Oh. Then some energies came and also some other wishes yeah. supported the battle people. They built oh. some houses, they buy some small land where, they are, where we are living. Yeah. So, they are there. So, we wanna want to want, also, you will enter inside the house, you see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> hey! I want to want to want to Eh I'm called Disha Majeri Gat. Okay. Yes, I'm executive director of Batwa Development Organization. Okay. Here I work as a Batwa community work, uh, Batwa guide. Mm. And uh, Lily, you are welcome. Thank when you. When you talk about the Batwa, many people can't understand the Batwa who are the origin of the Batwa. Exactly. The origin of the Batwa, the Batwa, we believe that uh, we were, uh, you migrated from DRC. Mm -hmm. Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo. Mm -hmm. Then we we came we were looking for survival. For that, the Batwa we did, uh, when we were living in our forest, we were hunt and we were hunt and gatherers. Okay. okay. We were hunt and gatherers, which means we hunt the animal also looking for the fruits. Mm -hmm. oh. So for us, we were the homonies. We were really friendly with gorillas. We were friendly with uh, many animals, but also. Uh, we feed, they feed on us and also we feed on them. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. For example, we had these anthropes mm. and also uh, flying beautiful birds like Franklin. Those were our birds. Mm. So, and uh, <coughs> before in 1990s, mm. these forests were our homes. The whole Chigezi region, greater Chigezi region. Mm. And also, uh, we had uh, almost four countries where the battle were living mm. after 
coming from Congo. And also our, our brothers and sisters, we left them in DRC. There are more people uh, who are living in, in Rwanda, in Burundi, Congo, and also here, Uganda, our famous country. Mm. <laughs> so we believe that uh, the Batwa culture mm. it is very, very, very important, and it is uh, unique here in Africa. Yeah. That is why we are very, we, you are very lucky and you are, you are, we are lucky to meet you mm. and share our knowledge and also the experience on the culture. Okay. So on this, uh, we are going to have um, the activity that you are going to do. We are, we are going to have Batwa uh, music, dance and drama. Nice. From that, you're going to have uh, this one, how the Batwa would make the fire okay. uh, without using matchbox. Mm. Yeah, you will see it. Uh, from that, we are going to show you targeting, shooting. How, like, the bat, how, how do you target for the birds? How, how the birds would target oh. and train their children okay. uh, when they are going to preparing for them to go out for hunting. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and even it is, it is really believed that when the birds were living in this forest, they have uh, two categories. The women would train the girls, and the men would train the what? Would train the boys. The boys. Mm. So that they can... Uh, they, they can all work, be active. Uh, also from that, you are going to have a community work. Mm. We're going to have uh, like two guides are going, to, are going to be the fat, and also we're going to have a lady okay. Okay. making gender balance. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so That's that they nice. cannot say that we are discriminating them. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have a lady, then we walk. Sometimes we're going to tell you some of the indigenous medicine uh, at least that are around here. Mm. Uh, from that, uh, we're going to stay the back our homestay. <laughs> then we see Lake Viewing View. Okay. Then we come back to the, to the car. So on the car also, they will they have a song saying bye bye to you. Oh, and greetings for everyone. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's thank so you so sweet. much. This is what you do when you come to this place. It's beautiful. So hey. I <laughs> we have to join this dance. It's too good not to join this dance. Hey, let's go. Akanda Kandi!
Oh god, oh, god. this is so fun guys. Oh, <laughs> Whenever you're in Uganda, please try to come to this place. And if you're coming, you know who to trust. Yeah. You have his contacts in the description below. Make sure you contact him. He will show you of your safety. Ah, let me catch my breath. <laughs> guys. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This is an amazing experience actually. <laughs> wow. How do you feel? I feel like I'm from that gym. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. But it was nice dancing yes. there. But it was wow. I've really had fun and I'm still continuing with more activities yes. which is more amazing. So wow. come along with us. So guys we're about to make fire here. See how they make fire, natural way to make fire without even matchbox. Without a matchbox. <laughs> You have it. Wow. Ah. Lazy. Time to shoot an animal. Shoot or hungry? Yeah. Let's go. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Guys, Kenneth did this. Wow. Wow. Okay, yes. so you can be a hunter. I can go hungry. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Guys,